Hello, good morning. It is Monday and welcome to another Vlogmas. We just tried to pick up the furniture that was delivered on Saturday from the post office and guess what? It's not there. Why would they leave a notice on a Saturday if on Monday the furniture is not at the post office seeing as on Saturday the post office is actually closed because this is Austria. <sighs> so we have to go back in the afternoon. There are two 7, 18 kilogram boxes that we need to pick up. Fortunately, they told us that they can lend us a little cart thing to wheel the <laughs> extremely heavy boxes to our apartment. So at least that is a good thing. But in the afternoon, I am going to make eggnog and you cannot stop me. I am also helpful. I have two steaks. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to our kitchen. 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 What was this? <laughs> kitchen. Um, obviously we were delirious. We did absolutely nothing in the past, I don't know, hour or so since we came back. I took a shower. Okay. That's something. I talked to not, my parents. Not dirty anymore. Mm. Yes. But as I said, we're gonna make some eggnog. So these are the ingredients. I'm gonna list in the description box all of the measurements and stuff or you will hear us yell at each other the measurements but we are using soy milk because someone is lactose intolerant Who is this? Kutsu? Cream! Lactose free because someone is lactose intolerant I still Kutsu Salt, sugar, nutmeg, rum and cin van vanilla Cinnamon so vanilla and rum and I have here three badly broken yolks uh, yeah and I have very cute measuring spoons and I think we need to use the one oh but I have half a cup so we need to use two of the cups okay fair this bring me joy <laughs> need a saucepan right yeah can you please bring a saucepan how big? Not yes. a saucepan. All of them. I will bring it. I give you this. I you want the, so the saucepan. The saucepan. Okay, so <coughs> please measure out where's my recipe. I'm so well prepared. I think it's time so, for me to do this. Three egg <laughs> three egg yolks, one fourth of a cup of sugar. One fourth of a cup of sugar. I have one third. I have one fourth. Perfect. One fourth okay. of a cup of sugar, honey. Sugar. Sh this is not sugar. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I think there's a bit of butter in my sugar. Why did you put butter in your sugar? When I made the shortbread. Okay. So with a bit of butter, which I guess it's very necessary for the recipe. Ah, I'm sure All it's fine. Oh my god. That's a lot of sugar. Sugar, sugar. Technically, this is for two portions. We will see. Is this? Yes. Okay, so. Sugar in. Now we need to whisk them. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. This needs to be whisked until incorporated and light in color. Mm -hmm. How will this be light in color? You want me to do it? Where is this? No idea. Oh, my hand hurts. I'm thirsty. Mm. Can I have water? I think that's lighter in color. Good enough. Yeah. Two of these. This is half a cup, so two of these. Two of these. Yeah. 
two of cups. This is the first time that I use cups. I don't believe in the imperial system. <laughs> Um, where is the spoon? Oops. Use your own tip. It makes sense, okay. One, two. Turn it upside down, I guess. Even though it's not upside down. And it doesn't splatter when you pour it. It's incredible. Then what? One cup of milk, half a cup of cream. So one of these mm. with this. Depends. This is the first time I'm gonna use cream. Me too. I is think my pants are calling. Uh, my <laughs> pants are calling. This is what? Cosmo. Smell your breath. I think is my parents are calling. If I don't answer, they're gonna call again and again, and they're gonna get worried that I'm not answering. Uh, okay. Do you want me to measure? Half. One of these? Yeah, just one it's of them. It's almost the entire thing. Wow. Oh. Two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. It's interesting though. One twenty-five. I don't know. No, we're going with cup measurements today. So let's yes. see what's going to happen. And one fourth of a tablespoon of nutmeg. So we have half a tablespoon, so you need to use somehow figure out how to put half. Don't put too much nutmeg because it's gonna be. Well, half of that thing, you know? Of this. Yes. That's, uh, I don't like the imperial system. Mm. For this thing, we will need a very, very precise um, scale to do it with grams. Mm. Feeling a bit lazy. What do you think? Um, a enough? bit less. Less? Yeah. It's very powerful. They said to do this much. Yeah, but believe me, it's powerful. Less? Less. Yeah, that looks. That okay. looks okay. Yeah. So one fourth. It is very powerful. We're gonna yeah. keep going. Maybe that's a bit more. A bit more. I think that's enough. Smells. I told you it's very powerful. Maybe they Are they have... sure about one eighth of my god? Let's see. This is the recipe. If it sucks, it sucks. If it sucks, it sucks. If it sucks, it sucks. Okay, now pinch of salt. Is this a pinch of salt? Yes. Or should I do more? No, that's a pinch of salt. Now, turn on the spoon. What no. are you thinking about? If using this. Yeah, I put, I put it there for you to use. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna stir in the liquids in the saucepan until they reach a simmer or until bubbles form at the edge but it's not boiling. You don't want to start boiling because I think something something about the milk either curdling or... Even with soy milk? Yeah, pepper. Maybe not. Okay, I, I think... I think I see, I yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, but I made the problem. It's okay, I think that's enough. Now, what you want to do, hmm. because you cannot put in straighten the eggs in here because they will curl, curdle. Okay, little by little, and we. And this, no, no, what's no, it called the put, process? Uh, tempering. Tempering the eggs. the eggs. You need to temper the eggs. So put a bit of the milk in the eggs and I and stir. And you're gonna do it? Yeah. Should I turn off the heat? No, no, no. No, the heat? No, no, no. The heat is okay. I stir. You pour. You don't want scrambled eggs. I mean, if you want scrambled eggs, you can just dump it in. I'm sure that most probably because the liquid is not too, too hot, it won't affect the eggs that much. But it's already like a bit late and we don't have, would, I would prefer not to have a uh, Shortbread incident. Hmm. Yes. No, this makes sense. Okay, this makes sense. Um, shouldn't be a problem though. I think at this point, I think we can dump the entire thing and still wouldn't be any problems. But 
it said, why risk it, right? Yeah, exactly. It said uh, after one third of the milk goes into the eggs, mm. then the eggs should be tempered. I already feel the temperature of the bowl going up. What was the 160 degrees uh, Fahrenheit thing? So basically, after we tempered the eggs, we put the eggs back into the bowl and then we heat it up and stir it occasionally until it reaches 160 Fahrenheit, which is 71.1 degrees Celsius. And then it's done? Yeah, and then it's done. Uh, so we... When would we put the cinnamon and uh, rum? Tell me. After it reaches the 71 degrees, it is done. We take it off the heat, we let it cool a bit, and then we add the vanilla. You said cinnamon. The vanilla and the no, rum. No, 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 there are no proof. Why do we put the cinnamon and uh, rum? Didn't you say that first we put everything in there? No, no. One third of this needs to go in here, so I think it's already one third. That's what I'm saying. Fine. Put it in. And now. Fine. Now what? You mix it until. Right. No, we need a spoon. What you do is mix it, and you're gonna. We're gonna keep mixing it until it reaches one. Uh, 60 Fahrenheit or 71 Celsius or until the composition coats the back of the spoon. So cinnamon, uh, <laughs> this, time cinnamon. this time I said cinnamon, this time I said cinnamon. So vanilla and rum after? Yeah. You see the recipe? Oh wait, 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 I'm touching the bottom of the pan. It's still 160, no? Hopefully when we have it in the in the mugs it's not too much. But So how thick do you wanna go? Do you wanna mix and, and no, I fill think it? It's fine. Okay. No. No. Is this something that you drink cold or warm? Cold. So we need to put it in the fridge. We need to put it here. And we let it we're gonna let it cool down, not completely but we're gonna let it cool down almost completely and then we're gonna add... I don't remember how much... I don't know, about, uh, about one sixteenth of a teaspoon, if I remember correctly, of this one. And one fourth, and so about... Yeah, something. And of yeah. <laughs> vanilla and rum. And then we're gonna pour in the mugs and come back for a little taste test. Mm -hmm. Excited, excited! Yes. Chips. Time for the taste test. I put a bit of cinnamon on top of it because... But why not? Faster. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. It's very creamy. Mm. I told you that we need to thicken it up a bit. So that hint of rum is more than enough to me. Yeah, so it's just a hit when you after, but it, it just brings it makes it a bit eggier, but and it's good. Now my question is, usually eggnog is made with like half alcohol and half the other yeah liquid. How does it taste then? Very strong. Mm, well, regular regular alcoholic eggnog basically tastes. The first taste you get is alcohol mm -hmm. and then there's an egg aftertaste. It's very good and also sweet. It's very good, but I wasn't in the mood for alcohol. It's a Monday. I shall rate this recipe a 10 out of 10. It is very Christmassy, very velvety and creamy and extremely delicious. What do you rate it? Nine. There is always margin for improvement. <laughs> no, I really like it. You always do this to me. Yes. You always give me nine. Yes. Nine point one, honey. Nine point one point two point three. Honey. <laughs> oh, it's very good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Would you drink it again? Yeah. yeah.
Should we make a liter of it? No. This is, it doesn't take that much time sure. to make. Who? Why would you make? Unless you have guests. Mm. What's the point of making two liters of eggnog? G eggnog. K eggnog. Knock. Okay, we're done. Yes. We're we're gonna make some dinner and yeah. watch TV. <laughs> Please let's let's eat some proper dinner. Because I would drink the entire thing just because I'm hungry. That I drink good. it because I like it. <laughs> but I want to keep this for after. After dinner. Dinner. Mm. The rest. Technically, we should have chilled it in the fridge. Who cares about chilling stuff? Chilling is for people that have time. We don't have time for this. You like it? That's very good. Mm. Let's okay. do some dinner. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.